Hello guys, welcome back to the McGill T. Um, I this is going to be my um, future tower videos, tower video remakes, and possible tower videos number four, video four at least. I already made three three of these. Um, two of them, two of them have been split into two parts, and the other one has the third one has been split into three. And I'm going to try to um, I'm going to split this into two parts because as you can see, it's midnight. I'm going to try to rush this because there are some towers that I'm going to um that I'm going to film tomorrow because I'm going to Springfield tomorrow. And um yeah, I got to do that. Starting off with Tower One. This is a KCNN tower. It has an old school incandescent beacon. It does not work because probably because uh because it's under two hundred feet. It's like a hundred and ninety something feet. And there's markers there. It only has one set of markers. So yeah, it, set, it sucks. Yeah, it doesn't work. So yeah, there's tower one. This is tower number two. This here um, has a... Uh, I already made a video of this. It was at night. There's trees blocking the tower along with cars and semi-trucks. And it was at a distance as well. I was feeling... I was facing the back of the car. Um, I was inside the car and stuff, filming and filming this tower, and I was facing out the back window. So you're not able to see it that clearly, but this has a flash technology uh, single strobe. I'm not very sure if it's an FH308 or 3010 because uh, it has a um, a really slow it has a slow night mode flash. But the weird thing is, it it does only shine white. But it has markers on it, which is um, something that I that I don't. It's, un, it's unexplainable. I don't know why it has markers on it. I have no idea if it used to have a white and red single strobe at, at one point, but I'm not very sure. There's another tower down a few a few miles down there, past that one tower that you're able to see. It's not actually a few miles. It's actually, like a, a mile or two, maybe. I don't know. But it has the same mystery as well. It has the same beacon on it. It has the same slow flash. It only shines white and stuff like this one. But it also has markers like this one. So yeah, that's a mystery. So um, the markers, they um, they don't work clearly. Alright, that is, um, yeah. This is going to be a remake. This here is tower number three. This here is the wide fidelity tower. I already made a video of this before, so it's going to be a remake. I made a video of this back in in February this year, but I never uploaded it then. I decided to, um, I forgot all about it, probably because it was on my mom's phone and I didn't know how to export videos then to different phones. It was a it was a very very hard process and all that, so it was it was uploaded very late. At that time, I didn't know I was able to screen record like I do now. So yeah, this here used to have a flash. I mean. This here used to have an, an old school incandescent beacon since there, it, since there is markers on the tower, which has been it, it's been replaced by um, what I believe to be a KG two two five because it has the shape of one. There it is. You can see it. That's a KG two two five, and then the KG two two five single strobe was replaced with a white only LED, which I believe to be a, a white only. Horizon LED that was made by um, William Phillips. And I'm going. To, I'm also going to show the markers briefly, so I can prove to you that it used to have incandescent beacons on the tower. Well, um, only one incandescent beacon, not multiple incandescent beacons. This, this thing's not tall enough. But there's some markers there. If you're able to see them, they're on the other side of the tower. And they're too high up to be, um, they're, they're not in the middle. They're um, pretty high up on the tower, so there must have been some some other pair on the tower. Or this tower used to be taller, I, I bet, maybe. That may be the case, but I'm not very sure. This tower may have been taller, but it's been reduced to this height. This tower, I think, uh, used to be red and white, but it was painted gray. There, um, you're, you're still able to see the red and white paint to this day. There's the red and white paint. There's the inside of the tower. You're able, to see, you're only able to see it um, in the inside.
but on the outside it's gray or either unpainted. I have no idea. But there's that. It looks unpainted. Looks pretty rusty and all that. Looks beat up and all. So um, yeah, there's tower three. Here is tower number four and five with two bonus water towers, which both have markers on the top. As you can see, this here is very rare in that there is a red and white cell tower. It has a flash technology dual strobe on it with working markers, and it currently still has it, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Um, I haven't been to St. Louis in, since February, but when the pandemic ends, I will make a video of, of these towers. And this is tower number five, which also has a flash technology dual strobe. It's gray though, it's not red and white like the other. And um, the thing that I like about this tower is those three antennas on the very top. The top itself looks cool, and I like how the beacon is placed on the side of the on, of the platform. So yeah, there is, um, yeah. I am going to be filming the wire towers as well because they're kind of impossible to avoid while making tower videos from the road in the car just passing by them while filming them like I usually do when it comes to towers like this. This here is cell tower number six or just tower number six because um, the first one was a radio tower. Okay, so um, this one also has a very cool platform. This one just a few mile. This is just a few miles away from Tower Four or Five with those water towers as well. As you can see, it has a flash technology dual strobe with working markers as well. After the pandemic ends, which is probably going to be in the middle of 2021, I will make a video of this tower. But I have no idea if it's ever going to. Um, I haven't seen this tower in a while, so it may not have its have it this beacon anymore. I really hope it still does, but I'm not very sure since I haven't seen it since February. And if it does, I will record it. Um, but um, I don't know if I'm ever going to film it at night. I don't know if that's possible, but um, it may be possible. Just maybe. Okay, that was Tower Tower Six, Tower Seven. This here is an old FM tower. There is a, uh, what I believe to be an ox tower that belongs to this radio station as well. And there, This is red and white. I don't know how, how tall this is, but it does have more than one beacon. There is um, the, the first set of markers. There are the, the two beacons there. They are modern incandescents. Then there's a, another pair of markers there, which they sadly don't work. These markers here are the only markers on the tower that work. And then you got the top beacon and the antennas as well. I already made a video of this here, so this is going to be a remake video. I'm, I filmed it day and night, so it's going to be a remake. But then um, this is Tower 8, which used to look different. No longer looks like this, so I'll tell you why later. Well, I mean, I'll show you later. This here was built in 2016, has a, um, a Huey and Phillips 3000B um, um, dual strobe. There's some markers on it as well, which I'm surprised it has a dual strobe. I would imagine a tower being built. I would imagine a tower being built in 2016 having a having a dual strobe. Yeah, that's weird. So um, you know, there's that. There's some markers. This is what the tower used to look like when it was first built. This is what it looks like now. But this truck's blocking it, blocking the half that I need to show for this video. So I'm going to try to get this at a perfect angle. Oh, the, okay, this is a perfect angle. All right, so um, as you can see, the beacon is the same. It's a, I mean, uh, it's the same beacon, 3000B, but the markers on the tower were, were replaced with, um, they were replaced with uh, flash technology, uh, no, wait, no, not flash. It was, um, actually, they said maybe TWR strobes. I, I don't know, but I don't know. They may just, they may just be, um, they may still be, um, Hollywell flash guards. But there's more beacons down there, which they kind of have the shape of flat, of, um, 
Hey, you already know, TWR. They had this shape of a TWR dual strobe. Um, um, there's one point in time where um, it's a top beacon up there and the beacon on the left down here. And they would go to their normal day mode. I mean, they um, all three beacons will go to their normal day mode. The top beacon along with the left beacon will go on their night modes. Like normal, they shine red and stuff. But the other, the, the right beacon on the bottom stepped out of line and would, would always go to the emergency night mode for some reason. I seen this happen about um I seen it at, at night about about three times I think back when this malfunction was still here and stuff but sadly it no longer has this malfunction yeah it's kind of sad it kind of sucks I would much prefer to still have that malfunction sadly um there are no other there's no markers on the tower anymore the only set of markers that, was on, that used to be on the tower were replaced with more beacons. So, um, yeah, there's that. Which um, su I'm still surprised these have strobe lights, especially when it was modified. I would have expected it to um, for the strobe light to get replaced with an LED, and those two beacons being LEDs. But nope, they want to go all strobe with this. So, um, yeah, that's Tower Seven and Eight. And this is also going to be a remake as well. I already made a video of this at day and night. So this here is kind of a mystery, but this this water tower is sure is shrouded is in is covered in mystery, shrouded in mystery. I meant to say. Oh come on Google! Oh come on Google! Okay, so um, as you can see, um, it has markers on the towers. They work and stuff. But if you're able to see the cell antenna there, uh, not the cell, not the cell antenna. I meant to say just normal um, antenna. Um, there, there's appears to be something that resembles a flash, um, that resembles a um, uh, incandescent beacon. If it is, then it's an old school because I've seen a drone video of this, and the be and the thing there was um, not red, so it must have been old school. If it is an incandescent beacon. Sadly, the markers are the only thing that work on it. I bet the markers were intended to replace the beacon, but they left the beacon up there to rot. So, um, yeah, that's sad. But I'm not very sure if um if that's a it's if that's actually a I was saying oh, that that's another tower I think, but I'm not very sure if that's actually an incandescent beacon or something else. Like a tornado siren or something, since um, tornado sirens are usually up straight. They can be located on water towers like this one, so maybe that's a tornado siren or maybe may an incandescent beacon. So um, yeah, let's move on to the next. This here is Tower Ten. This here is a radio tower located in um, this here is located in uh, downtown St. Louis. This here uh. And there's um the first set of markers there. I'm going to go um I'm going to go up, starting from down to up. So yeah, there's that. Not the right angle for this. Here, hold on. Ah, crap. This is slow. Very slow. Still, and not at the right angle. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. I'm at the right angle now. So, um, there are the first two beacons. If you don't know what those are already, those are old school incandescent beacons. There's the second pair of markers. And then there's the top, which is another old school incandescent beacon. So, um, yeah, there is one thing about this tower. The top beacon, along with these two other beacons, fl um, don't flash at the same time. The top beacon flashes at its own time, while these other two beacons will flash at different times. Um, yeah, they don't they don't flash together. They flash at different times. That's basically what I'm saying. So um, this is uh, on top of a building, just like the wide fidelity tower, um, which uh, it's pretty cool, pretty pretty cool. So um, yeah, there's that. Um, I think I see something else there. That's not a tower. I'm not talking about the monopole. I'm talking about something else there. 
that's just power lines so um yeah this is going to be the end of part one for this here but before i end the video i want to tell you a sad tale of that tower that one is just as wide as the fidelity tower but maybe a little taller it's red and white it used to have a modern incandescent beacon but it's been replaced with a with an led not very sure which one and i don't even know if it's white and red but it's it no longer has an incandescent beacon it has an led now so yeah this is the end of part one see you guys later bye